Hi, tonight we're at Mobile Monday London, where the topic is centered around tablets and the business strategies behind it. I think my interest with us is, is seeing what people will pay for and, and what they won't. And, you know, what will they pay for? They'll pay for they convenience. Yeah, they'll pay for that ability never to miss a sports match. They'll pay you for depth and analysis. I absolutely agree with you. They'll, they'll pay you for ubiquity. They value a very good service. But what we found there is if you, you go the extra mile in terms of the content you're offering, they'll, they'll recognize that and, and pay you back well. Apple, for an individual developer, has a really good way of actually being able to get your money back. Android is a little bit more open. I'd say 50, about 35% of our downloads ended up being pirate copies that went down. And, and because the marketplace is okay but not great and not centralized and you have a lot more fragmentation where you have different operators with their own marketplaces, it, it, it just doesn't seem to be as sticky and, and it's not built into the core UI like the app store is with the iPhone. We've seen success on, on iPhone. We've had over 10.2 10 million downloads of our applications. So yeah, it's not all about the iPhone. So yeah, we've, we've developed applications for Android and we've, you know, we've had similar challenges to, to some of the guys here. Um, but there's also other platforms. So BlackBerry has been a really, really um, encouraging platform for us, and we've seen some real success there. And you know, it always tends to be forgotten about in these discussions. And then, obviously, there there is what what happens to Nokia and Windows. What's worked for book publishers? We we're very fortunate. Um, one thing that we did that I think is, has has been quite good is that we agreed uh, an international standard around EPUB, which is the text-based format. Um, for, for digital reading that, that, that's scalable. And what's, what's been great about that is that putting the, the specific apps that we've done aside, it means that e-reader clients like um, Kindle for iPhone or um, on Android, it means that any, any number of companies can create reading apps that we can flow all of our content in. So as these new platforms arise, we don't have to, we don't have to rebuild things from scratch for Windows 7. From a, a publisher point of view, no one's really got how to do an iPad app. There's the Daily, which has come out now, which is, is kind of all bells and whistles and a lot of money's been spent on. A lot um, of money. But then it's very mixed reviews. I, I haven't seen it because I haven't been to the US, so I don't know what everyone else thinks. But, but it just seems that there was this initial thing, okay, let's get the content on. Oh, look, let's chuck video in because we can do that and uh, we can have some interactive graphs and things like that. But no one's really got, you know, maybe the social element that you should put into the news or... or or what you were saying earlier, where you know it's not just a one-way stream, and it becomes a, a more of a user-generated content going back out, and it becomes a, a, a more social experience. And I just don't know, but I, I really don't think it is just down to the subscription model. I think once there's something out there that's really killer, people will actually pay for it. That makes sense for that format. The newspaper publishing industry, uh, there seems to be a lot of experimentation on between freemium apps um, and different paid-for models. We hear that there are lots of downloads of apps, but that does not necessarily equate to revenue and return usage, as we know. So um, that I think the jury is still out there and a lot of experimentation going on. I probably think there was an initial gold rush when, when the tablets first launched. Um, and I just don't think the subscriptions model is mature enough yet to really be able to take a, a, a sort of um, sensible view. I think the, the business model is established. <coughs> I think none of us can sit here and say that we know exactly what the business model is. So I think it's, yeah, the beauty of this is you can experiment with, you know, with different models. I think it's a different platform and no one's really cracked it yet. So let's go ahead and ask a couple of people what they think is the best way to monetize content on tablet devices. Obviously, you have a lot of content publishers who are really kind of searching for business models, kind of find their way through the, uh, the universe of monetizing what it is that they do. I think the struggle is that the speed at which smaller, more nimble companies, technology companies, as well as aggregators are working is, 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 uh, makes it really difficult for them. So every time I'd hear an answer, which was, we're going to wait and see, and it's really early, um, to me, that's a sign that there's an opportunity for somebody to disintermediate them out of the business. I mean, I think the key is to, to try to innovate without losing too much money. So you can't just sit back and wait. And so when we had a question about waiting or whether content owners are waiting too much or just focusing on Apple and ignoring Android and some of the other platforms. So I think, I think the key is finding that dividing point where just being innovative enough 
and really going for it um, and not ignoring new platforms, but doing it in a way that's physically responsible. So I think that's that's the challenge, certainly for a company like mine. I think that, that the subscription model that you know buy once, use everywhere works quite well. You know, your content follows you. But I think bringing in the USPs of tablet devices and you know bringing context to it as well is 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 very important, and not just creating the same thing somewhere else, but actually adding richer functionality because you've got it on a tablet. I don't mean to sound down at all, but tablets are still tiny compared to mobile phones and internet, mobile internet, things like that. So. As far as we're concerned, if you're going to target tablets, especially on Android, try and do one app that works across the entire range of phones all the way up to tablets, right down to the little quarter VGA phones, and um, then just market the hell out of that one application. Anyone who installs it gets a really good experience on any device. Thanks for watching. I'm Leila Mackey, and see you next time.